What is good family, my niggas? Hell yes, bro. Lost Tapes episode 30, bro. 30 weeks. I won't even say 30 weeks in a row because it's been a long ass time with in between each episode, my nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. We've been taking a lot of fucking breaks on this one specific series, bro. But I did say second channel is back and active again. So, of course, that means more Lost Tapes for my niggas inside this shit. If you guys want to upload any videos to this shit, of course, go to hashtag Almighty Lost Tapes on twitter and you will get your submission played on here if it's a good ass video if it's ass i'll react to it and that shit will not make it to the final fucking cut bro some of y'all suggestions be booty butt cheeks nigga booty butt cheeks bro on some real shit bro but this first one is called remains here we go right here bro it's not nighttime i was like i probably can see the fucking sunlight out there bro it's not nighttime i want to do it during the daytime today maybe that'll help me out my nigga if i won't get too fucking scared A baby that fast? Please don't be on some, I don't know, bro, some sick shit. I hate the scary ones with babies, my nigga. You never know what the fuck's gonna happen. Caleb. Caleb, a bitch ass name. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh my god, bro. I don't know what the fuck's about to happen, but imagine losing a child, bro. I would go insane. Just, yeah, they must have lost him, because I'd be looking like that every single day of my life. Woo! Damn! That's how it starts off? Is that an urn? Fuck. For anybody that may have lost a child or something, mad prayers for you. Because I can't even put myself in the mindset of what the fuck I feel like. I jump right in that bathtub with the fucking toaster. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you at all. God damn. Yeah, I gotta take my glasses off for this one. Am I seeing this right? Am I seeing this right? Is she eating with the ashes urn? But you never know how you're going to react to that shit on some real shit, bro. Your brain could just snap. Make sure it's turned up all the way for y'all niggas. With the CC on. Don't start playing with those. If you hear a cry, you're going to be scared as hell. Yeah, yeah. Hell nah. She fiending to hear a cry. Not that bad, though. Not that bad, though. Hell no. Imagine sitting at a table across the fucking table from an urn with your baby inside of it. Eating a hungry man. And you start hearing sounds. And the dad left too, I'm gonna presume. Dads, we gotta do better. No way y'all niggas be leaving the first chance y'all get like that. What the fuck? I'm moving out at that point. No, sir. What the fuck? She about to resurrect that nigga. Pet cemetery. What do you think that's going to do? Nigga, are you a witch? Did she just bippity boppity boo the pot? <laughs> it's like no matter how bad you want it to happen, no, nigga. I'm cool off that. She got a fucking rave going on inside a damn ash urn. And the little nigga laughing at it. Ah oh, shit. Is that a gun? 
I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Holy shit, look at, look at the deep deaths this fucking video is going to. Like, at this point, I never pause these videos on Lost Tapes. I never pause this shit. Nigga, if you don't leave that goddamn house, what are you doing? No, nigga. I'm not raising Baphomet's cousin. Hell no. What are you going to do against a damn demon? You gonna stab that nigga and be like, damn. Anyway, like, I'm still killing you. You're dead. Finish your lasagna. If y'all haven't already noticed, this is the same guy that made that Portrait of God film. He be going crazy. What be going on inside your mind? Somebody go check on that nigga. Ain't shit funny. Ain't shit funny. Bum ass V Tech. You better pray that demon ain't kinky. He might like choking niggas. Strangle your ass. Nope, nope. You can cry all you want. Don't throw it in the. Nigga, go throw it outside! She putting that nigga in darkness. He about to fester and get stronger. Like Bane. You put me down here, but I was bored in the shadows. Like, nigga, what the fuck? Shadows be making niggas stronger for some reason. I don't know. Shadows and hatred. How are you easily convinced like that? You're dead, dog. Uh, that nigga, he going a whole body down there, ain't he? Damn. You look like Dobby. That is not Dobby. That is not Dobby. Hell no. That's a Navajo skinwalker. I know those when I see him. <laughs> I saw him in Colorado. That's a story for another day, though. Turn that damn light off inside there. No way you put some LEDs inside the urn. <laughs> Why would you do that? Caleb. What's wrong, baby? You gotta think, if it was a black mom, she would have been throwing that shit outside. She would throw all my ashes in the grass. Watered that shit with a hose. What the fuck? And she still want him too, she don't care. She about to raise the demon. She quite literally raising hell. Nigga. Is that the solar system? What the fuck? Yeah, you're gone. You're going. I know. I know. You'll you see the baby soon. You'll see the baby very soon. <laughs> he horny too. He wants some. You saw always rubbing her? He was like, let me let me just in right now, please. I'll give you another one. I wonder if demons and ghosts be getting horny like that.
The thing is, none of that stuff probably even happened. That was probably just all inside her mind. Because she missed the baby so bad. Now that nigga strolling across the carpet forever. You about to do vacuum the nigga up? No, it's disrespectful. <laughs> Putting a Dyson vacuum in the ashes is crazy. Never mind, that shit was real. That shit was real as fuck. Yeah, turn that shit off, dog. Like, that's gonna work. You see the nigga eye watching your ass 24 7 now. Ah, ah. Like, nigga, what the fuck? You can have no guest over anymore. Imagine going over to this girl house to fuck and you see a baby. <laughs> Looking out the urn like, what the f- I'm not putting my dick in you. This nigga always got the bangers on some real shit. Dylan Clark, you need to go work with Jordan Peele or somebody, bro. Steven Spielberg. You always got the bangers on your shit, bro. Hell yes, hell yes, my nigga. Please don't fucking copyright my shit. I beg of you. You always got bangers. Please, please. Next video. This next one's called the bus stop, but we have a nigga by himself at a bus stop at the dead of night, bro. He in the same city that SpongeBob was inside of, but it was called Nice City. Like dumbass bus edging him on, like, Ew! like I would have been so fucking mad at that shit. He gets on the bus that fast, <laughs> nigga. The video's over. I'd be mad as shit. Hey, hey, hey! I know you saw me right here. I was right here. He's kind of conventionally attractive. In like a Tim Burton sort of way. Like niggas are like Coraline and, and Jack Skellington will find will definitely find them attractive. I love girls that like Coraline. Bus stops are the only places where you can be alone with your thoughts. What the fuck? Bus stops are the only places <laughs> where you can be alone with your thoughts. And the occasional stranger. And the occasional stranger. Nigga try to copy my whole flow. Shut the oh, fuck up. Let me read it, bitch. Girls are like Coraline got that wet pull out. That should just be dripping like, I don't know. What is he mad at? There don't ever be clocks at bus stations like that. What the fuck? Was it demonic? I thought that said some crazy shit, right? I was like, what the fuck? It's like, no way y'all spray painted that word on there in a YouTube video. Damn. That would've been my whole villain arc right there. Imagine you get imagine you get a denial letter at a bus stop. At that point I'm chasing my dreams at all cost. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Where's this nigga at? What is Ghost Low? Right there. Buford Road Hospital, Ghost Low. He gotta be in Kentucky. Damn. Holden, I got an email about your grades. I swear if you are not getting this. <laughs> hey, mom, I didn't get in that bitch. I ain't gonna hold you down, bro. We'll talk about that later, though, if I make it home. You just keep running away from your problems. Oh, he in British. He in British. Her name was Mum. Get on ASAP. We need to talk. She gonna beat your ass. What time is 22.33? Is that like 12.33 or some shit? I don't know military time. He going, <laughs> I'm not going home. Fuck no. Travels? Huh? No. Who the fuck are you? You sure? Is that Scott Pilgrim's girlfriend? Seems like there's a lot going on in that head. No, but <laughs> we can have a lot going on as you give me head if you want to. Uh, <laughs> I've been here all along. Watching you. And I know everything about you. You freaky? You thinking. What you're feeling. What am I thinking about right now? Even what you're going to do next. Oh, you don't want to know what I'm about to do next to you. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Me too. I'm not really in the mood to talk. So. Exactly. <laughs> but if you want to, like, nigga, I would have definitely kept spitting game right there. You know. 
clenching your knees. What? Thinking. That sense of despair. No one was there. Is that the cat from Coraline? No one cared. I know what you have. You don't know how I feel. I'm sitting here waiting for the bus that I don't want to get on. That will take me home when no one understands me. And I wake up to do things that are not working out. <laughs> some niggas, some niggas be going through it, bro. Where the CC at? Die. United Kingdom, die, huh? <laughs> Don't just laugh that off. You off that angel dust, ain't you? She off that ayahuasca, that DMT. Time flies. Who knows what's around the corner? Especially when we're having fun. I take you behind that fucking bus stop and rail your ass with consent. At that point, I'm just walking home, bro. Cause the thing is, you gotta think of it like this, bro. Like, imagine you driving on a long ass, windy road inside the woods, my nigga. Like, nobody's around you for at least thirty miles, and you come across a girl just laying in the street like that. Would y'all niggas get out the car to help her? Or would y'all keep driving, bro? They about to ambush your stupid ass. Are you okay? Twenty five niggas come out the bushes, nigga. Are you? <laughs> Give me everything. What the fuck? There's, there's someone in darkness. What the hell was that? I don't see anything. Was that the crooked man? The crooked man? That's a British folklore. Oh hell nah. That's oh, damn yeah. Jeepers Creepers. I see him. It's the boogeyman, and he's coming to get us. <laughs> oh! All I gotta do is run faster than your stupid ass. <laughs> As long as I'm faster than you, I don't gotta worry about a damn thing. He can't catch both of us. Getting weird. I think I'm gonna leave now. Adios. No! You can't just leave! How, how'd your voice do that? How'd your voice do that? The bus will arrive in seven minutes. I don't give a fuck if this bus will arrive in five minutes, nigga. Is. There is a I'm nigga over there watching us. So you'll just keep running away from your problems. So you were watching my text. This lady alone at a haunted bus stop is a cowardly move. I don't give a fuck what it is. Call me courage then. The cowardly dog, bitch. Out of here. I for sure be on my courage. I'll be running away. You're not catching me. Hell nah. You're not Ariel or Eustace, bitch. You farted? What's your problem anyway? You don't even believe I saw something out there, so what are you so afraid of? Exactly. I'll pull it this way. If you're scared of that boogeyman, believe me, he's still better company than my parents. Nigga, don't trauma and dump me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. When she had a bad day at work. I don't care! Or when father felt like it. That's how I got my fear of the darkness. I mean, much love okay. to you. I'm sorry you had to go through that, but I don't give a fuck. About it and thought it'd be funny to lock me in a broom closet on a Friday night. Nigga, that was your biggest problems? That's terrible. I'm sorry. It's alright. I guess. I just don't like being alone in the dark. There's a light right there. Bye. I have a new family now. You... You were adopted? Kind of. No, it's the fucking thoughts yeah. in her head. Still trying to get along with them. Find common ground. It will work out. You don't know that, Thomas? Yeah. Tomas? We have plenty of it. To be honest, I'm not getting along with my parents either. I mean, tried to run away from home a few times. Because you're failing school! It seems as if they come from Planet Responsible, and I come from Planet, I don't care what anyone thinks. You clearly don't! She said you're failing all your classes, and you asked better to get into college. You're not I living here anymore. Like seems pretty reasonable. Instead of wanting to push you under the bus. What? 
I just don't see how your voice keeps on uh, echoing like that. What the fuck? Damn! Who's that big titty woman over there? Whoa! Is that mama? Is that your mama? <laughs> Nigga, I said don't move. Bitch, what were you gonna say? Well, I saw someone again. There. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of no. here. You're just hallucinating. Mm, you're you're just crazy. No, I know what I saw. It was a figure standing there in the shadows, pointing at something. I swear. No, she was saying, run your ass away. Go now. Well. The shadows you're seeing, they might be. Ooh. A legend has it that a monster haunts his bus stop. Nigga, it's probably you! It said it comes back every once in a while. Those are your past victims! Darkness and stalking its next prey. Where is this bus at? It said it has big yellow eyes. Its presence can be felt a mile away. A bus? It's said to be an outcast. But it seeks to be whole again. Just like me. You lost me at that one. You lost me at that one. In despair of those who are feeling helpless. People it killed were lost and misunderstood. They had no future. They were failures. Nigga, if you don't run... Oh shit! Oh shit! I tried to tell your stupid ass. I tried to tell your stupid ass. Like if you if you own this bus company, my nigga, and multiple niggas have died here? What? Where's the driver at? That nigga for sure got hit. Nigga, grab the phone and get out the street! That nigga look mad as hell. You're like, you're on drugs. I'm leaving you at this stop again. Crazy night, huh? What? Are you getting on? Yeah. Now he's gonna start living his life way better. He has a new feeling for life now, like nigga. <laughs> what? Who was that nigga driving the bus? I feel like the nigga off Meet the Fockers, Robert De Niro. What? Nigga, just fire the bus driver at this point. He's ran over three niggas? You got what you deserve, dog. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Stop burying niggas right there. Let's suck. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, my niggas. Final video. Let's get this shit. This last one is called NPC, bro. Let's see this shit. I'm a very strong believer in NPC niggas really being real. There's no way all two trillion people inside this fucking universe are all real. No way. Nigga, can I put the fucking headset on, please? Shine con, shine con. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Is this my apartment? <laughs> Why did you make a 3D model of my? Who is that nigga, Jim Halper? <laughs> cool, right? How did you get everything so accurate? I scanned it with my. Phone nigga, you never even been to my house before. Ready for the best part? Yeah, let's see it. Big booty bitches. 
Please spawn them in, please. Caleb? What if he's just spawning a baddie right there? Rubbing, rubbing herself, playing with herself. What the fuck? Why is there an NPC in my house? Because you said you were lonely, remember? Nigga, then give me some hoes! <laughs> Uh -huh. I don't want no nigga. You did a terrible job because this thing's stupid. It's just walking into my wall. Not anymore. Are oh, we doing the fucking actual NPC TikTok shit? Thanks for the flowers. Like nigga, you are not Miles Morales. Oh, cool. You fixed it. <laughs> they doing the real TikTok movements and everything. What the fuck? Can you tell this thing to stop? It's kind of creeping me out. What are you talking about? I'm not doing anything. Nigga, he's walking towards me. Whoa. Dude, what happened? Nothing. Your stupid NPC scared me. Hey, bro. I don't think you're supposed to go to real life like this. I don't think you're supposed to go to real life like this. What the? F he said, are you doing this? Like, nigga, what are you talking about? He about to stab your bitch ass. I beat the fuck out of Caleb for doing this bullshit to me. You ought to be sitting there like an evil villain. Nigga. Alright, bet, let's go then at this point. Are you trying to fight? You trying to spar, nigga? I don't give a fuck. If you don't punch that nigga, what are you doing? He beating the fuck out this nigga. Damn. Oh my god. He got four arms? How you let that nigga fold you like that? He folded that nigga like a goddamn omelet. Oh my god, you a bitch ass nigga. What? <laughs> Bro, it just started, the nigga got forward and it just died? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, my niggas, I'm getting the fuck up out of here, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Lost Taste, my nigga. Episode 3 Oh, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Check on your strong friends. Pray for your enemies. At least wish them well. And I'll see y'all niggas next one, bro.